On the back of Playboy Cardi's confirmation that his long-awaited sophomore album, Whole Lotta Red, will be released on Christmas Day, you'd think that a lot of his fans would be celebrating and sending nothing but positivity his way. But with the release of merchandise for the album that is obviously occult-inspired and satanic, Cardi has made some of his fans both hesitant to listen to the heavily hyped project and just straight up disturbed at the whole ordeal. So the question is, will this significantly affect Playboy Cardi's album sales and overall fan base? No. No it won't. Because we've seen this happen before, and fans will do exactly what they did then. Sweep it under the rug, and pretend like it never happened. Like in 2017. During a performance, Lil Uzi Vert told the audience that those who listened to his music would be going to hell with him. This understandably made some of his supporters, including myself, uneasy, and this situation led me to stop listening to his music. The majority though, just said that he went too far and kept it pushing. No one talks about that anymore and it seems to be mostly forgotten. A rapper who's done this multiple times is Trippy Red. Even though his aesthetic has always been dark and demonic looking, it's clear that a good portion of his audience isn't okay with him taking it all the way there. Like in August 2018, when him, Juice World, and G Herbo received some backlash for jokingly posting a couple of videos saying that they're about to sell their souls to the devil. The backlash was big enough to cause Juice World to respond, saying that they were just kidding and that he only worships God. That might have been just a joke, but what Trippy did a few months later in October certainly wasn't. I'm referring to when he released a music video to one of his biggest songs, Topanga. The song itself isn't demonic in any way, and even though it's yet another murder anthem, it sounds rather cheerful, which is why it shocked his fans when the music video ended up being so satanic, with symbolism like pentagrams and Baphomet heads all over the place. I'd actually recommend that you go to the video. Not to watch it of course, but just to read the comments of how disturbed it made some people feel. I expected this one to go viral and possibly even lead to Trippy giving some more context, but that didn't happen. Surprisingly, the video received little to no attention outside of his fan base, and was quickly forgotten about. This is how I think the Playboy Cardi merch situation will end up. Either forgotten, or something his fans ignore and laugh about in the future. In conclusion, Cardi knows exactly what he's doing. He's doing this for some attention, well aware that it'll make some people uncomfortable. He knows this won't significantly lower his sales because it's been way too long. The hype is at an all time high and his fans can't wait to listen to a whole lot of red. If you think they're gonna let some demonic merch stop them when the album is right here, you must not know Playboy Cardi fans. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And hit the notification bell to know when I upload next. This has been Andre Darius, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.